to Kids Kingdom Online. I'm so glad you could join me this morning. My name is Miss Jessica. Today we are going to have lots of fun, so let's get started. We have been learning about how to worship God, and so let's look at the big idea. In today's story, we will find out another way that we can worship God. Worship God, that is our big idea. Can you say it with me? Worship God. Good job, boys and girls. I'm going to read the Bible verse for this week. Do you have your Bible? You can pause the video here if you need to go get it, or if you need time to look up the verse. We are going to be reading in the book of Galatians. That's in the back of your Bible. Chapter 5, verse 13. Help one another in love. Now get on your feet and get ready to shake your sleepies off because we're going to listen to this song, Praise the Lord Every Day. From my head to my shoulders, my knees to my toes, I praise the Lord every day. With my eyes and my ears, my hands and my feet, I praise the Lord. to worship God. Do you like to help around your house? Maybe help your mom pick up messes or help in the kitchen sometimes? Well, helping others is another way to worship God. In today's story, we will learn about how a church helped others. In this story, it is from the book of Acts chapter 11. The people in Jerusalem church had gotten news about a new church in Antioch. They wanted to see what it was about, so they sent Barnabas to visit the new church. When Barnabas got there, he helped the new church by encouraging them to serve God, to learn about Jesus, God's Son, 
and teach others about him. Many of the people now believe that Jesus was God's son. Barnabas was so excited about the new church, but he knew that there was a lot of work to be done. So he went and found Saul to help him continue to teach about God and his son Jesus. There were many people now that believed what Barnabas and Saul were teaching at the new church. The people of Antioch started calling them Christians. Do you know what Christian means? It means Christ follower. That is so cool, huh? One day, some men from Jerusalem came to the church of Antioch. One of them named Agabus told the story that told the church that soon the people in Judea would not have enough food to eat and many people there would be hungry. Now the people of the new church knew the ways of Jesus and wanted to help. Everyone in Antioch Church gave as much food and money as they could to help. They sent their gifts with Barnabas and Saul to Judea and the church helped the people of Judea. Okay, Let's play a game to see what you learn. Raise your hand if you're ready to play thumbs up or thumbs down. This is how we play. I'm gonna show you a picture and ask you a question. You give me a thumbs up for yes and a thumbs down for no. Did Saul help Barnabas to teach the church in Antioch? You're right, thumbs up. Saul did help Barnabas to tell about Jesus. Did the man say the people of Judea had too much food? Thumbs down, you got it right. He said that Judea would not have enough food. Did the Antioch church help the people of Judea? That's right. Thumbs up. The church people gave what they could to help the people of Judea. Do you remember the verse of the week? Help one another in love. That is what the church in Antioch was doing. Whenever they gave food, they were helping uh, other people in the church. They were worshiping God. Now let's worship God together by singing this next song. Joyful noise with a happy face And thank Him for amazing grace I'll make a joyful noise 
worship God. Maybe this week you can help your mom and dad at home. You can make a card for a friend or a neighbor, or maybe you can donate some toys to people that don't have toys. This week, think about ways that you can help. I know whatever you do in love, it will make God happy. Friends, I am so glad that you joined me this morning, and I would love to hear about ways that you helped out around the house this week. Have your parents send me an email. I hope you have a great week and see you next Sunday at Kids Kingdom Online.